Hey guys, um, don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I got a couple things I want to say. I have actually come out of my shell a little bit, and I've been braver. I'll just start, make it short. Um, starting off Saturday night, I've never danced or sang in front of anybody because I've been too scared to, because I care too much what people think. But, um, this guy that I work with, I, um... He kept begging me to sing something with him, and he probably had to ask me about 20, 30 times. I finally said yes, but I told him he would owe me, which, I just quit. But, um, I was just saying that. I really was going to go up there anyways. I just told him he would owe me, but he said he would, you know, he would, so, whatever. So, I got up there and actually did karaoke in front of people. Not many people, because that was a dead night of, of, um, it was a dead night. Like, there's nobody there, really. There's about five people. I mean, it's a bar, because it's my job, you know, where I work. Um, it's a country bar, for those of you who didn't know. And you just, you haven't watched my other videos yet. But, um, so I did that. I went up and sang, and I only did it once, but I think I'm going to do it again one weekend where I'm not working, because we do karaoke every Friday nights, and then sometimes Saturdays if we don't have a band. And we didn't have the band that night, so... Um, I might go up one night when I'm not working on Friday and go sing again. And, um, then I was just like, since I did that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, try dancing too. But there was only one thing I wanted to learn. And the guy that I work with, that I sing with, he teaches line dancing and stuff and he teaches any kind of dance. So, um, I was like, okay, the one that looked really easy to me was, um, the dance to... Copperhead Road. So I was like, teach me that and I'll do that. So we did that. And I'm like, you know, it was actually fun. Instead of just sitting there at the bar, like, just doing nothing really. And I mean, I know people, everybody there, because I work there. I know all the customers and everything. So I talk to them sometimes. That's what I do. But instead of doing that, I actually went up singing and dancing. And I actually had a really good time. But then, um, Sunday. I went to my first reptile show and I was like okay I feel like I can do a little bit more because I feel a little bit braver I've come out of my shell a lot so I was like I'm gonna hold a scorpion or a tarantula I went to the scorpions first just because they were like closer and um they were huge first of all like I'm not used to they were like that a little bit bigger than that but they're huge and I'm just like they're scary looking too so I didn't hold one so I found this guy who was gorgeous well he had gorgeous eyes and um, that's the only reason I wanted to go over there and I didn't know he had tarantulas at first and I was like oh he does so I'm gonna go hold one and um so I held one of his tarantulas and then I bought one and they're about the size of my thumb um because there's babies right now but it's a uh, pink toe or something like that, pink toe tarantula, I can't remember, something pink, and um, so I got tarantula, and, I, and mine's a female, but I gave it a male name just because I've always wanted to name something else, but I named it Bentley, because <laughs> it just sounded good to me, but um, so I'm going to be coming out of my shell a little bit more, and I actually end up by the, that, the end of that day, Isis, I actually held a scorpion too. I didn't put him in my hand. I, I met one of my friends there because I didn't know he was there, but he was over by the scorpions. So I went over there and I was like, all right, put one in my hand. Just do it, it's, you know, because I got to get it over with and I needed a picture to have proof for people. And he put two of them in my hands. It, I didn't like it. I don't think I'm ever going to hold one again. But it was something, like, I'm just trying to do just something different, be different, you know, come out of my shell more. So that's all I really want to tell you guys. Sorry, this is really boring for any of you who care, but that's all. Bye. I love you.